Hey, what's up, guys? It's Lucky with Undisputed Tech. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to build a gaming computer under $500. Stay tuned. talk about putting together a beast of a PC build. We're going to try to do this under $500. Now with prices fluctuating, I can't really guarantee that we're going to get it under that budget, but we'll do the best I can. Although I talk about this being a gaming PC, this PC will also be beneficial for other uses such as video editing, streaming, just to have a high performance computer. And it's great that you're going to be putting it together yourself. So what we're trying to do here is we're going to go ahead and try to find the best parts possible for the best price possible so you can get the best bang for your buck. With PC gaming evolving as much as it is, with its hardware currently kind of tough, it's great to get a custom PC gaming build that will give you good use for the next few years. Give the PC gaming industry some time and things will become much more cheaper as PC power increases. Now although this build might be more than your budget, you just will need to trust me on this one. This is the build that you are looking for, around $500. Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Let's start with the base, which is the computer case. The Thermal Talkie Versa H21 at $38.12 is the case that we're going to go ahead and go for on this one. One simply because it comes with a front USB 3.0 slot. It's $10 more expensive than the cheaper computer case. If you're really trying to get the best, lowest budget possible for your build, then I will suggest grabbing this case instead. Now the motherboard. There's a lot of other motherboards on the market, but we're gonna go ahead and go with this one for the pure fact that it's only $79.99. The MSI B350 PC Mate is the ideal motherboard for this build. With a four plus two power design, also equipped with an ATX B350 with four fan system options with an RBG option. This motherboard has four SATA ports for storage. It also supports PSIe and SATA. It's a motherboard that's not too fancy and will get the job done. For the video card, I'm choosing to go with the Zoltac GeForce GTX 1050 2GB. This video card will still provide a high enough quality experience for gaming at 1080p. For budget reasons, we chose this one, but if you have more to spend, you can upgrade to the GTX 1060. For the CPU processor, we're gonna go ahead and go with the AMD Ryzen 3 1200. It comes with a stock cooler that's gonna be good enough for getting a bit of the overclock in. A full quad core CPU is ideal for this build. And for a budget of $500, this processor is listed at $104.99. For the RAM, we're gonna go ahead and go with the crucial 8GB single DDR4. This is the best price RAM, listed at $94.14. In storage space, we're gonna go ahead and go with the Seagate 1TB. 1TB is going to be enough to ensure that you'll have enough space for big title games such as Fallout 4 or Divinity and the original Sins 2. $44.99. This is optional. It's a CD drive, Asus 24 DVD-RW, $19.85. If you don't want to use the CD drive, you can load the operating system through a USB. For the power supply, we're going to go with the EVGA 500W 80 Plus, listed at only $47.88. And for internet connection, a USB wireless network adapter, Panda 300 megabytes per second wireless N USB adapter is what we're going to go ahead and use for this build. Now for the operating system, we're going to go with Windows 10 64-bit. And if you already have a keyboard at home, or if you already have a monitor, then you can go ahead and include those in your prices. I went ahead and went to the Goodwill and picked up a keyboard for only $5. You can also find really good monitors at the Goodwill too, ranging anywhere between $5 to $15.
if you're looking for a build that's going to handle most games and high graphic settings and if you're also looking for a good frame rate at those settings this is definitely going to be the build for you this build will dominate most games coming out this year and you're totally in luck for the next generation experience if you go with this build and there you have it all of the parts you will need to build a gaming computer under five hundred dollars now price will fluctuate but I went ahead and put in the links all at the bottom below so you guys can go ahead and get all of the parts everything is gonna be listed make sure you guys have fun with this build I hope this helps so if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe share this video and I'll catch you guys on the next on a skew tech thank you